What is going on everybody? We're here taking a look at the latest update 2020. Dot, I don't even know. 2020.16.2.1. Just got this. There is actually another update floating around 2020.20.20.20. Dot 20, dot 20. That's not out in mass yet, but this one is going out to everybody. So let's check out the new features. I will put the release notes, a picture on the screen for you so you can read those. Thank you to my newest patrons, Glenn and Jean Christopher. Really appreciate that, guys. I did upgrade the camera, um, so if there's any weirdness, sorry, I'm still kind of learning. So looking at these release notes, the Tesla toy box has been redesigned. There is actually something really cool here that we'll look at. Nearby chargers, you can now filter out slower chargers if you want, or if you're really desperate for a charge, you can leave all available so you can just find whatever you need. You can now format your USB drive for sentry mode, which is huge because people would get these flash drives or their SD cards or SSDs, and they wouldn't be able to set them up correctly. It seems pretty easy, but sometimes people have problems, and this is just a one-click easy solution. And then backgammon has been improved. If you're into that, that's good. I don't know how to play it, and I tried, and I had no idea what was going on. All right, so I have Stephanie and baby here helping me out. Um, so one of the new things in this release is that the animations of people on the screen are actually moving now instead of just like a stick figure kind of floating across the screen. So she's gonna help us out. I'm gonna get in the car, put it in drive, and we're gonna see what that looks like. All right, so here's one of the parts I was most excited about. Um, I don't know why it sees a car, but she is walking around and you can see that the animation on here is actually moving as she's moving. So can you come back and can you just stand there? Okay, so Stephanie's gonna go walk in front of the car and, all right, stop there. And she's gonna stop, because I feel like, okay, so the animation does stop, just like how she's stopping, the animation is stopped. So that's pretty cool. Okay, you can back, can you just walk backwards? Okay, so it still looks like it's walking forwards, but all right, that's cool. Um, and then, yeah, just come, get baby. Yeah, so that's pretty good. It's just kind of, it looks like a generic kind of walking animation. Like if it detects the person moving, then they're walking, that's all. Okay, now we're gonna try it with the stroller. Um, earlier we were getting it looking like a motorcycle. <laughs> it was thinking the stroller was a motorcycle. So there, it just shows one person pretty much ignoring the stroller. But yeah, it has that animation and then it stops. It shows, uh, shows her facing the car, but oh, there we go, it corrected itself. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> And babies looking all around. Nice floor mats. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Um, Is your butt really this hot? Uh, <laughs> um, so put it in drive? Yeah, now it does. It just looks like you're moving fast. But it's still the same animation? Yeah. Okay. Am I there? There's two of you now. There's two of you. But is it doing jumping jacks? Is it squatting? No, it just makes two of you. Still? It went away and came back. It still thinks there's a person there. Really? Yeah. Still? Yep. Yeah, it's creepy. Ew. Yeah, nobody's over there. That's really weird. The one person is now just you moving. No baby, just you. Nope, it looks like you're walking away, then forward, away, then forward. All right, thanks. You're welcome. All right, so I'm back. I had to go for a minute. It was bath time for that huge baby. That's uh, why the videos are sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can find their link in the description and use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off. All right, so first up, this is another one that I'm really excited about besides the walking around is the Tesla Toy Box. So it used to be up here, you'd click the T and then this would come down after you click the T or you could pull it down and I hated it. It was so annoying every time I wanted to go in here and look at the release notes or something, it would always come down and, and be getting in my way. So I'm glad they moved it here. Now they had moved it here before, but it's now redesigned and it's gone from up here. It's no longer up here, which I think is great. So you have all the apps here. They look really nice and they have a little explanation now of what they do. So if you don't know, you know, you can click we're on Mars transform your map to the surface of Mars. It tells you what it does. You can turn it on or off. And there you go. You can see it in the background. They got Santa mode, spread holiday cheer. You're around with Santa mode. That's it. And it tells you the voice command too. That's pretty cool. So we put that on and okay. Um, I, man, I love this graphic too. It looks like that looks really nice. Um, so yeah, you have all your things here. Can I turn? Okay. So you can't turn this one on with the toggle. You have to hit the stock four times, but it tells you how to do that. So that's really nice. Okay. So going into safety and security right here, 
if we want to format our USB drive, you can go down to sentry mode, again, safety and security, format USB device. This is a new button. Um, I'm going to click it just to see what happens. And it gives you a warning. Are you sure you want to format this USB device? And you can do that. So it'll format it. It'll delete everything on whatever. I like that they say USB device. Hopefully you're using either an SSD or a micro SD card. I will leave a link in the description for the micro SD card that I use uh, from Pure Tesla. You actually don't even need this ability with a Pure Tesla drive. That one you just plug in and it works. But let's say you get like the Samsung T5 SSD. SD, that's another really popular option. You can plug that in, just click format, and then you're done. It does it all for you, which is great. Okay, now we're in our nearby charging map, and you can see here at the top, we have new abilities here. It actually has already automatically only selected two and three chargers, which are faster than one charger. But if I click that, it'll also show me some slower chargers in case I want to see those. I don't know why it's showing me chargers that are so far away. So you most likely are going to want to keep it on these settings. You're not going to want to go to any of these slower chargers, but just in case you can click that and it keeps sending me over to Canada. I don't know why it's doing that. It obviously knows I'm over here. It's very strange. I don't know if this is working correctly. I don't know why it's taking me. This is all messed up. <laughs> it's only like showing me the options over here. So it looks like the three chargers are the 150 kilowatt superchargers is what it's showing me. Yeah, so if we look at the chargers, with all three selected, you can see 150 kilowatts are here. If I get rid of the three, it gets rid of all my 150 kilowatt options. Uh, and it's showing a bunch of 16, 17, 8 kilowatts. But if I get rid of the one, then you're getting a bunch of 72 kilowatt options. These are Tesla chargers, of course. The 150 kilowatts are, of course, also Tesla chargers. And then these slow ones are going to be your third party chargers. All right, and then why not? Let's just check out backgammon really quick, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, looks pretty much the same for me, but you know what we can do? We can put Tesla against Tesla. So now the car is playing against itself. And I'm sure the black side will win because I made it super. Uh, but we'll see how it does. I don't notice really anything different. Man, the graphics are pretty amazing, though. Um, again, I only tried this once before, but geez, it looks like leather. <laughs> it looks like it's real. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. I haven't had a chance to drive it yet because we're getting some cement poured at the house and I can't get in the garage. So I'm not really driving the car. I could charge it with an extension cord, but I've been driving our Equinox with the shutdown and everything. It's been kind of weird. Uh, but let me know what you think of the camera and everything I've been, you know, playing with it. I hope it works really well for this and the audio is good and everything. If you enjoyed, please hit like, get subscribed, and you will see me in the next video.